The Kalugo is an arboreal flying mammal in the south of Asia. Here we find an urban dad about town. Observe him in his natural habitat. Hey, this is John of Fathercraft. Today we are looking at the Kalugo baby carrier, which just so happens to be my new favorite all around baby carrier. Here's why. Before we get too far into it, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel um, to get more product reviews and other great dad jokes that come along with these product reviews. Also, submit a comment below and let us know how we're doing or anything else you want to tell us. So if you're new to this parenting thing, a baby carrier is basically a stowing device for your baby that allows you to do other things around the house like vacuum or do the dishes or get swole with weights and stuff. So since you're wearing it and there's a baby inside of it, the number one thing that a baby carrier should be is comfortable. Um, it needs to keep your baby snug and secure. It has to be relatively easy to put on and also put your baby into. So we recently reviewed the Kalugo stroller at Fathercraft, which was designed to be lightweight and breathable, also portable and machine washable, but probably most importantly, easy to operate meaning easy to open and close. So a lot of these features apply quite nicely to the Kalugo carrier. So over my shoulder, you'll see the long list of criteria we use to evaluate baby carriers. For the purposes of this video though, I'm gonna focus on comfort, ease of use, and storage. And by storage, I mean pockets. Sweet, glorious pockets. More on that in a minute. If you want to check out our full written review for the Kalugo carrier, follow this link below by clicking on it in the description. So let's start with comfort. You want a carrier that's lightweight, and this one is extremely lightweight. In fact, so much so that I thought I was missing an insert or something when I first put it on. The last baby carrier we reviewed was the Ergo Baby 360. And for my money, that material was like one of those x-ray bibs that you have to put on at the dentist. It wasn't very breathable, and when things aren't breathable and I'm wearing them, I become a sweat monster. So carriers like the Baby Bjorn or Ergo Baby have much thicker material and for us, that makes them a little bit more compatible for newborns or, or littler babies due to the thickness of that material, making them feel a little more snug within the carrier. You can use the Kalugo with a newborn and it has adjustable settings to help make smaller babies more snug and secure. But that being said, I don't have a newborn to try it on, so I can't speak specifically to how it feels carrying a smaller baby. But we have read a number of reviews from parents who have used it with a newborn and have had no complaints with it. The second thing I like about the Kalugo, hidden pockets and storage. Not all baby carriers have pockets. In fact, we're testing five other baby carriers right now, and I believe only one of them have an additional pocket, let alone many pockets like the Kalugo carrier has. So you might not think that additional pockets and you know, hidden compartments are important for a baby carrier until you're wearing one and you realize you've got to carry around an additional bag, like a diaper bag or a backpack. The fewer bags you have with you, obviously, the easier it is to do the thing that you're doing. Anyway, I really like how this product was seemingly designed as a multifunctional tool instead of just something that you can tote your baby around in. So long story short, just throw the bare essentials into the extra pockets and compartments and head out. Something to note, however, is that I found it much easier to put these things into the pockets and compartments before putting Calvin into the carrier. The third thing I like about the Kalugo, usability. So even though I'm talking about this last, it's actually the most important thing to consider with baby carriers. After all, if I can't operate it, I'm not putting my baby in it. And if it doesn't look good on me, I'm not putting myself in it. So what makes the Kalugo carrier so easy to use? The magic buckles and adjustable straps. They're basically magnetic. So the straps that hold your baby in are independent of the shoulder straps that go around you, which is super helpful. So it basically allows you to independently adjust your straps without affecting the comfort of your baby. So get yourself all situated first and then grab your baby, plop it in there and get him situated. All right, a couple things that I wish were different. The bigger Calvin got, the more difficult it was to put him in a proper position. Uh, it's rated up to 35 pounds, but you need to take other variables like length into account. It doesn't have a seat adjustment, which would be beneficial for those bigger kids so you can drop the seat a little bit and make them fit a little more snugly into the carrier. A lot of other carriers have the ability to raise the seat for newborns and lower them as the child gets bigger. 
So overall, we really love this carrier, especially for older kids. I mean, a lot of carriers out there have that thick padding, um, which is good for newborns, but newborns are small and they don't weigh a lot. What becomes more important is when the baby gets bigger and heavier, you want something like the Klugo that's breathable, it's lightweight material, compactable, uh, and really easy to put that big kid into. When you consider the price and the pockets and the magnetic buckles, when you consider the complete package, also the 100 day free trial, we think this is a great choice. So what's most important to you when you're shopping for a baby carrier? Comment and let us know below. While you're commenting, if you see the subscribe button and it doesn't say subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. It's really quick and we would really appreciate it. There's also this bell and I've been harping on it a lot. Just go ahead and click that too and then you won't have to worry about missing our next video. All right, people, it was great chatting with you. We will see you next time.